Hey my youth, you know where you watch yeah, I'm here again once more, my people. Manners and respect to each and everyone. I have information to give to you. But first up, I'm going to present a video to you that is being talked about on social media. Now, the video that I'm about to present to you is going to show some things that happened when law enforcers from within the country of Jamaica was at a location within the country of Jamaica. And you can hear quite a number of persons talking loud in this video of your subscribers. I'm trying to get a good understanding as to what happened at that location between law enforcers and civilians your subscribers but your guess might be as good as mine so look at the video and tell me what you think about the situation and viewer discretion is advised for this video observe so, uh, i guess that you would have no problem with <laughs> So, me or a person said some words in the video that gave me the understanding that uh, someone somewhat mentioned about spray. And uh, well, when it comes down to some Jamaicans talking, some Jamaicans don't say eyes or I. Yay! Some of them say. You see me? So, it's like me or someone said some words pertaining to certain things. But let me play about this piece here quick and fast. Alright? Okay, me hear that part there, me hear that part there, me hear that part there. Mm. Something happened. But anyways, the video has been talked about on social media, so I'm just letting you know about that video, alright? Alright, so I saw a video circulating on social media with information basically saying that the musician who goes by the name of Yaksta was involved in a accident that happened within Germany. So according to one information put out there, it is said that Yaksta and his tour party were involved in a vehicle collision on a road that's located in Germany for the subscribers. I see what is considered as a sketchy information during subscribers because I didn't get any information to confirm anything about any injury or anything like that. Is it um some of the information them are some of what is said the information to me is not really and truly clear. However, overall, I got the understanding that uh, there's a video or at least one video posted on social media with some words basically saying or claiming that the musician who goes by the name of Yaksta was involved in an accident that involves a certain amount of motor vehicles on a road in Germany. And that's all the information we have for now. All right. DJ, good. Good. Alright, so someone brought my attention to a video that shows when a motor vehicle hit a type of truck and the truck overturns in. And uh, I did my research and uh, here are the information that I got about that video. Now, I am going to present to you a video that's going to show some things that happened when a motor vehicle that was being operated by someone hit a truck that was being operated by someone and the truck overturned and end up on one of its sides the incident also caused the death of at least one person so according to information that i got it is said that the truck overturned and a person who was inside of the truck died i got the understanding that the incident happened within the country that is known as trinidad and tobago so the situation is considered as a hit and run because the person who was operating the motor vehicle that hit the truck causing the truck to overturn and end up on one of its sides fled the same viewers and subscribers that means that the person who was driving the motor vehicle that hit the truck did not stop the motor vehicle at the scene of the incident the person drove the motor vehicle away from the scene of the incident the incident had been caught on video viewers and subscribers. I also saw a post on social media that gave me the understanding that uh, a video was being used to identify the license plate of the motor vehicle that hit the truck in order to identify the owner of the motor vehicle that hit the truck viewers and subscribers. There are more than one pieces of videos posted on social media about this whole situation but what i'm going to do i'm going to present one of those videos to you so that you can have a good understanding about the situation but i want you to please bear in mind that this video that i'm about to present to you 
is going to show when a motor vehicle that was being operated by someone hit a truck that was being operated by someone and the truck went off the road and overturned on one of its sides and it is said that a person died as a result of the incident so before i present this video to you this is a warning that some of the scenes in this video might not be suitable for everyone viewer discretion is advised for this video observe so there's the motor vehicle right there my people and the, see, the motor vehicle hit the, the truck the truck went off the road Notice of that motor vehicle that I can see at a certain part in the video right this is the man say mm. 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 We shall set up we. In the United States of America, a person had been accused of trying to sneak on board a flight or an airplane by taking a picture of someone's boarding pass. The person had been accused of using whatsoever information was on the boarding pass to sneak onto the airplane. Authorities say that he was caught because uh, the flight was full and he didn't have any place to sit. And I think I understand what that means. So, I could get to some more details because this really and truly sound interesting to me if you're on subscribers. In. Yo, and I also saw a video about the situation as well. I saw a video about the situation. But listen. So, it is said that the man faces what is said to be felony charge after being a stowaway on an aircraft. So it is said that the man was arrested after boarding the plane in Salt Lake City for a flight to Austin, Texas. And that's according to federal prosecutor in Utah. According to police, the person went on board the plane and allegedly the person had been assisted by a flight attendant or a flight attendant has said some words to the person at some point the plane started to move to the runway or at some point the plane started to taxi to the runway so it is said that a flight attendant asked the person to go to his seat allegedly it is said that the person told a flight attendant a seat that he claimed that he is supposed to sit in or go to at some point it had been revealed that someone was already sitting in that seat that the person claimed that he's supposed to be sitting in or go to authorities said that further checks revealed that uh, the name didn't pop up in the records for the flight and at some point the plane returned back to the gate where officers were waiting meaning that uh, the authorities had been alerted about the situation and the person had been taken into custody now listen to this part now my people because uh, if this information is true it had me thinking and this information is according to a news article that i read so a news article said it turned out that a friend gave the person a body pass to fly on southwest airlines but two previous flights were full and he was rebooked on a flight at a certain day and that's according to police the news article said now if that is true then why the person do something like that it, it, it's so it, it just it's just weird you know what i mean yeah, well what them say live you learn something like that but that that you know. let me know what you think about this whole situation if you're new to my channel don't be afraid to click the subscribe button and click the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever i post a video until the next time my name is dancer skiller big up 
Hey man, you can know you watch. Dance, dance, dance. Hey yo, skiller. 